there's something you know beyond everything when you're finding your co-founder for example you might just be from the same region of the country you might have the same uh, rock music taste uh, you know there are a lot of people who sort of bond on some things which are way beyond all of this make sure that when you're talking to potential co-founders you know you're talking a lot about aligning the vision as much as fitting you know on the values i think number 1 and number 2 there is absolutely nothing that can compromise on one comma two right and when i say values straight what is important to them what are the key attributes that they live by what are the top two three things that they would look for in a person right beyond that everything else you can have conversation ideally you would want someone to be complementary in skills so that you can sort of divide and conquer a particular problem statement right someone engineering someone business even within business someone more outward facing someone more inward facing someone product someone marketing I think skills complementarity would be extremely useful uh, as co-founder pairs. Working style match is something which is uh, extremely important. If you have too much of a working style mismatch, someone is a night owl, someone is a morning person. Someone likes writing bulleted points, someone likes, you know, just talking through things. You're going to have a lot of friction later on. There are four innate personalities, I leave you to that, uh, you know, based on the Carl Jung framework. Uh, but actually as part of the Antler program, we do this very deliberately and, you know, we did this for all our first cohort's founders. and there's been a, a lot of interesting inputs that we've gotten based on you know different personality types and who are best fit to work with each other versus who are not uh this said the but commit you know and this is something that you would have seen even in your companies right you not everything is consensus based especially in the best companies and there's something you know beyond everything when you're finding your co-founder for example you might just be from the same region of the country you might have the same uh, rock music taste uh you know there are a lot of people who sort of bond on some things which are way beyond all of this uh at the end of the day again this is not as much a framework as to say uh i think 1 comma 2 are important uh between 3 4 5 6 7 i would say maybe some of it matches some of it doesn't but the whole point of this exercise and is to uh make sure that at least you have these conversations and a lot of people actually when they go through the exercise figure things about themselves which they didn't know before